good morning everybody so today we are going to take a tour of the brand new Ashton Park High School we're taking the train there first though because that's how a majority of the students will get to school every morning is through public transportation station is Ashton Park. La Station is Ashton Park. Exit here for the Ashton Park neighborhoods and Ashton Park High School. All right. So right now we're just getting to the school, taking public transportation. I don't think I've ever really filmed the station exit before, but this is the Ashton Park Station. Ashton? Ashton Park Station. It does not have a whole lot of um, parking. So today is Saturday. On Saturdays, everybody's downtown, nobody's in the suburbs. That's why I thought it would be a good day to legally enter the school and do the tour. So as you come in, the first thing you're going to see is the entrance. So here are the principal's office. This is where the cafeteria is going to go. There's a mountain goat in the cafeteria. So, if anything, it got in through here. This is a kitchen. And, of course, at this particular school, we have a capacity of about 800 students. So, it's similar in size to, um, Ashton, to Ashton Park Middle School. So, one thing that I do have to stress to everybody is that this is a public school. So, there are two types of schools. I don't want this goat in here. There we go. But anyway, there's two types of schools that I recognize in this city. You have a public school. Here's a media center. You have a public school system, and then you have your private schools. And then you also have your charter schools, which is basically fancy terminology for it's public but ran by a private business or individual or company. So basically, public but ran by a rich private citizen or private company. Some companies have been known to have schools, um, have their own schools. But we're not going to get into the whole bureaucracy of system, school systems. Um, Ashton Park Middle School is placed in a weird location because zoning laws are not well developed in this city. Now you have a mental hospital, a jail, housing, Walmart. Yeah, over here, these are good things to put schools there, by houses and a store. But now you have a jail and a mental hospital. So now you have um, insane people. Well, it's not really a high security mental hospital. It's a low security. So that's like a place where people would go like if they need certain... Just a quick fix, really, to get their medications adjusted. We're going to take a tour of it one day. But that's not for, like, the criminally insane. What is for criminals, though, is the jail, which is next door. It is, in fact, the jail for the city of Alex World in Ashton Park. So, that's kind of um concerning. So, down here is a 10th grade hallway. 
lockers are color coded once you learn the, which what color the lockers are going to be on your hallway it should be easy to find your classes this is a typical classroom in the Ashen Park High School this is an ELA class all of these houses are going to be torn down and redeveloped of course most of the classrooms they look beautiful just like this but a portion of the neighborhood could very well end up getting redeveloped into a park downstairs is nothing special this school is built with adequate emergency exits but this is the ninth grade hallway up here is the 10th grade hallway so now let's go upstairs to the 11th grade hallway so again this is going to be the 11th grade assistant principal's office classrooms and everything the upper level for the library and then of course across the way here down there is the entire music department over here is the entire um in here is the entire auditorium so anytime there is drama class so you have drama classes that happen here i don't know why those mannequins have on no shirts but there's a drama class that takes place this auditorium can seat 200 students of course um up here is a stage area that's one thing we could do with the lights um turn them on and off just like every other room in the building come back here you'll exit out onto the band orchestra choir everything everything to do with music as you can see the rooms are a little different stairs yeah so the rooms are a little different they're pretty small though but um yeah they're pretty um different there's really not much amenities here but then again it's a little bit more than the middle school of course downstairs is the gym upstairs um, is the music department and auditorium we'll even get a nice view straight into the train station from here there's even been talks of expanding the train station so that it can accommodate all of the traffic for high schoolers that happens in the evening because in the evening when everybody's trying to leave and go home that is basically what the problem is this is too crowded back here is like the truck loading area of course principal's office counseling center suite all of that's upstairs of up front this is the gym locker rooms are on either side those two doors are just emergency exits there's another famous school named Kravitz Academy um we yeah we're not gonna go to that one because it's it's in rough shape that school is it was for a while abandoned but they're looking at reopening it now trying to redevelop it this way it looks modern because the hallways are crap you, schools in this day and age have wider hallways Kravitz Academy only has nine meter hallways as opposed to I mean three meter hallways as opposed to eight I mean six meter hallways so the meters um the lip the width of the hallways have to be increased the classrooms are also small can only hold 10 people if anything it could end up just simply being a private school but um this is the view from outside so the high school can only hold about half the population of the middle school seeing that it has half of the number of seats so what might have to be viewed into is the building of a second high school to deal with the overflow students right now 
the KCS up in the Lindenburg area. So basically, by OC and Biblical Academy, they're willing to accept high school students, overflow high school students for free. So if you want to get in there, you'd have to apply here and then get sent there as an overflow, which that's the next tour we're going to be providing. But thank you and have a good day.